Thank you, Dr. Howard. This is truly a great day to have the reuniting of Super Express and Mazinga 7, but I am still shocked at the disaster on Orion. Sorry about your folks. Who controls Mazinga 7? They just arrived. I'll introduce them. Their names are Kent and Mary. They control Mazinga 7. Thank you for helping us. I'm Cyprian. And this is my sister Susan. Kent is the son of General Larry. Oh, is he the General Larry sent by the Earth's defense troop to protect our city, Orion? Yes, that's him. He's the one. Have you heard how he's doing? Oh. Hmm? Hmm, I don't know, but when the enemy's fleet was attacking, I saw him surrender. What? He just gave up? General Larry? No way. I witnessed with my own eyes. Susan, am I right? Hmm. It couldn't be helped. I'm afraid it was their only chance for survival. Kent, my son, listen. Do not worry. I will return after we have defeated the enemy. A victory is the best present for you. No, I... I can't believe it. Now we must take action. Come with me. The union of Super Express and Mazinga 7 is almost complete. Once they are connected, we will be able to reconquer the planet Orion and save everyone from the evil invaders. Kent, Mary, Cyprian and Susan, may the forces of good be with you. Best of luck. Now go! Super Express 7 is now programmed to take us to the planet Orion so we can defeat the invaders and rescue the people. What if we change our plan? Before rescuing Orion, we will go to destroy the new planet that is threatening the peace of the universe. After that, retaking the planet will be easy. No, Cyprian, we're not prepared to do that yet. Ha! Ah, you're just like a coward. Why can't we do my plan first? And besides, you have no right to say what can and can be done on this mission. But we can't disobey Dr. Howard. It's his machine. Can you're a coward. I think you're scared like your father. Wait! I huh? think Kent is right. Hmm? Who are you? How did you get included in this mission? Are you Dr. Howard's son? You're much too young to come with us, you know. It's dangerous. Hey, I'm just trained to become a Maving a Thubbin pilot. Just like Kent and Mary I now. You have to grow up before you can do this kind of training. Oh, and I suppose you think you're grown up, eh, wife guy? It's too late to go back, so I guess we'll have to take him. Hey, thank you, Susan. I knew it. Ha, 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 ha. What's that? The enemy fleet. Battle stations. Wow. Oh no. They're waiting for us. Are we going to fight them? Okay guys, here's our chance. Transpose. Links and their express robots again. Begin fire! Uh. Uh. Prepare the proton missiles! Yo, yeah, yeah. 
Vegas is a disgrace to lose to Earth Lynx. Don't worry, sir. I've got him centered in my sights. Ah! You're still the scrap. I won't forget this. We must take the chance now to destroy their headquarters. It's too risky. Mm -hmm. This won't work. We must have a leader. When that thing is done, every time I try to do something, this coward interferes. A, a leader? I nominate myself for the job. Well, is there anyone else? Count me out. It sounds like a big headache. Hurry up. Anyone else? Speak up. Well, then, if I'm the only one, then I am the... Wait a minute. Ooh. You're the very suitable character. Huh? Huh? So, the son of a coward wants to participate. It's a tough choice. Prince Cyprian is a brave fighter, but Kent is a calm and careful planner and would make a good leader, too. I have a way to decide. I have two matches. One of them is broken and the other is not. The one who picks the whole one, we would choose a die leader. Fair enough? Sounds okay to me. Let's get on with it. Okay then, Prince Cyprian. You choose first. Oh, no, you got the broken one. That means Kent is our leader. He doesn't have to pick. Ha! Congratulations, Kent. Cyprian <laughs> is very brave, but he's too hot-tempered. He only wants revenge, so our mission might fail. That's why I thought up this plan to make you our leader. See? Both matches were broken. You sneak! You say that the Earthlings have turned their old machines into a powerful new robot? Yes, Master. My whole army was defeated. With generals like you, we'll never conquer the universe. You don't have the courage of a fly. Oh, uh, but then, uh, Master... Stop your whining! Have you nothing to say? Guards, send him to the waste disposal plant. Oh, oh not the waste plant. Throw him in the water, and within five minutes, the engines inside his body will be completely dissolved. Hmm, engines inside his body? They can't be human, then. Probably bionic. Jump, you worthless lizard! <gasps> no, please, give me another chance, sir, please! Oh, my God, what's in there? Oh. They're toxic waste monsters, and they're just waiting to fight each other for the little meat on your scrawny body. <laughs> now jump, black man, jump! <laughs> please, sir, please! <laughs> Because of your past loyalty, I'll give you another chance. You're beautiful, Master. This is the robot under E.T. He is 300 meters tall and weighs over 3,000 tons. He has 4 million kilomegawatts of power with a limited ability to rejuvenate. He is totally invincible. Think you can handle it, eh? I will not fail you again, Master. Cakes and candies here. Nothing is selling. Hey, buy something, you guys. Haven't you ever heard of candy?